Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to automatically schedule tasks using Python, right? So Python gives you several packages that allows you to be able to automatically schedule tasks such as schedule, such as plan, such as sched, such as app scheduler. So this behavior can be done with Crontap and then also with a uh, add on Windows, right? Crontap for unit based system. And there's also a Crontap package that you can also use for Python. So let's see how to work with it. But before we move on, subscribe to this channel and then you want to subscribe, you can also subscribe and then you can also click the bell button so that anytime there's an update of a video, you'll be able to get notification. And I also want to ask whether the audio has been improved. So if it has been improved, you can just let me know. So let's start with, with it, right? Okay, so now let's start. So first of all, to install, let's just go with pip install, right? Schedule, right? That is how to install it. So let's install it perfectly. And then now let's see how to do it, right? So the basic idea is that first of all, just going to import the package. So import schedule. Then also need to import time, right? Apologies for my keyboard. Then the next thing we need to do is that we need to define the particular jobs that you want to do. So let's call that dev job. It's, that is, you can just name it as any function, right? Then let's pass in something that's very simple. So print, let's say reading time. Reading time, right? So that is something very simple. Now we can also create another job, which is going to be something different. So it is not going to be, it's going to be coding, right? So let's call it as coding time programming time something very simple so we have we have two different functions two different tasks that we want to do so how do we work on it so just have to specify the time so this is going to be where we're going to specify the time that you want you wanted to do or the schedules right so it's going to be schedule dot every schedule dot every the particular stuff so every 10 seconds I want you to do a particular stuff. So do, then you pass in. So inside this do is where you're going to pass in your particular function. So it's going to be our job. So every 10 seconds, I want to do a particular stuff, right? So that's the basic idea about it. You can also make it like every 20 seconds or something. So let's make this one every five seconds. And then every 10 seconds, I want to do coding. So that's the basic idea about it. So. Perfect. So the next thing we need to do is that we you have to start with while true or end with while true, then schedule dot run pending. Perfect. Then we're going to set the time to sleep as one. Right. Perfect. That's why we inputted the time there. Now let's see how to work with it. So I'm just going to go with my Python, then the name of my app. So it's going to work perfectly for us without any issues. So every five seconds we're going to print reading time so we see that reading time every 10 seconds going to print coding time so reading coding time so that's how it's going to be doing perfectly right so the end of the world <laughs> okay now you can also add some things to it in case you want to specify a date so schedule dot every day right you can also make it specific so every dot day at this specific specific time so at now it's just 11 35 32 so let's say at 11 Mm, 31 or 33 I want you to do something so do something else right what do I want you to do so do let's change this one let's add some another function to make it totally different it's going to be there's not going to be coding but let's call it as mm, playing something like that right so at that particular time we'll be playing or we gaming or something Plain time, right? Perfect. So that's the basic idea about it. So this is going to be our play function, right? So 33 is already 33, so let's make it 34, right? So let's save it, then we'll close our already run function, then let's run it. Perfect. So at that particular time, we're going to do the plain stuff. So reading time every 10 seconds, still the 11.34, right? Reading. Reading. So you're waiting for the time for it to be like that. So that's the basic idea about it, right? To, for it to work. So there are several 
ways you can do it. There are several ways you can do it. So it's a very simple package. So the basic idea is that just import your schedule, define your activities, then you get you specify this schedule so that playing time has come already, right? Because the time is 34. Very interesting. So that is how to work on this particular with this particular package. Very, very interesting. Now let's do something interesting. So I'll stop this. I'm going to do something interesting. So we'll be using Python request to help us do something interesting. So import request. Right? We'll be using request, then we'll be doing something useful. Right. So we'll be using a, a URL call from Coinbase, right? It's a simple API. Then we will use that one to get some data. So let me copy the URL. So I'm going to pass in my URL here, right? So this is a URL and then we're using request. So let's call it as whatever thing you want to call it as, say data, I'm going to request dot get our URL. Right, so that is the basic idea. We can let's make it page rather instead of data. Page, right? Perfect. Now then we're going to create as data. It's going to be our page.json file. Perfect. So let's see what this JSON gives to us. So I'll move to our Python to so import request. Then just going to create our URL. Then we just give it our data. Let's go to P, let's go to request dot get URL. See that I made a mistake somewhere, right? <laughs> That's why you have to try it somewhere before. So data, then P dot JSON. I don't know whether you also have that issue anytime you're working with request. You only make, most often make mistakes. So I go with data, it's going to print all of them perfectly for us, like a dictionary. So that is how to work with it. So what we need to fetch is that we need to fetch the BPI and the time. So in case I want to fetch the time, I can just go with this, it, right? So in case I want to fetch the time, it's going to be data, since it's a dictionary, then time. Perfect, so I printed all the time. In case I want to get the BPI, Bitcoin, you can just, the ID can just go with BPI, so we have we have US US dollar, we have Great Britain pound, we have Euro. You can also be specific and then specify it as let's say USD. USD. Perfect, right? So that is how to work with it. So we're using the same idea to build our app. So let's change this one to fetch Bitcoin. Right, and then let's call this uh Getting Bitcoin price, something simple. Perfect, right? So that's the basic idea. So we can just go with our results, which is going to be our data that we have at above, above, then our BPI. Then we're using this one for US dollar. So US, U, US dollar. Perfect. Then we can print our result so print our result perfect right something very simple and basic so this we don't need these ones now for now don't need them so this is something very basic right so we will change in this one here so every five seconds or oh, yeah i want you to do fetch bitcoin right so let's make it every five seconds or oh, let's say every 10 seconds perfect so let's run it so Python and up. Perfect. So every five seconds is going to tell us that. That is the basic idea about it. So I'm using this particular application with schedule to, to tell me the particular Bitcoin, Bitcoin price at a specific time. That now that's giving us the result. Very interesting, right? It's very simple and very interesting. So that is one way of working it. So in case I want to actually pass in the to specify an argument, see that this one we just pass in a function. So in case you have an argument here, you also want to pass it in. How do you do that? So let's stop this and let's see how to work with it. So it's going to be the same thing. So let's call it as this that we have. And let's call that Bitcoin by currency, right? So here I'm going to pass in my currency. It's going to be 
x you can call it any name then i'll pass in my s here right perfect so let's say getting getting bitcoin price in whatever currency that we have okay so how do we work on this so it's going to be the same option let me span it it's going to be the same option but you'll be passing in our argument at here right after the particular stuff so bitcoin by currency then we going to pass in whatever thing we want to do so it's going to be let's say we want to pass in our us dollar or something else so this is going to be great britain pound then it goes to do another one for euro right as we had so this is going to be four euro all right so we have every five seconds i want you to give me for the bitcoin price for us dollar every 10 seconds for let's say every seven eight seconds for great britain pounds and every 10 seconds for that right so that is how to work on it so let's try it and see So every five seconds that's giving us bitcoin price for us dollar now it is in great british pounds now it is in euro like that so that is how it's going to be working so that is the basic idea about how to work with schedule very very simple and very very easy so the basic idea is that you're just going to import schedule in time then you create your function to do whatever you want to do then you specify the schedule that you want to do very interesting so in case you want to pass an argument just do it in this particular format then you end with this schedule that run run pending so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section below and also check the comment section below for some interesting courses and some interesting books that can help you to master python thank you and stay blessed